Okay, I think it's a pretty fun integral here today. We got this from the MIT integration B 2017, number 20. We have the integral of cosine x to the cosine x plus one, tan x times one plus natural log cosine x dx. Okay, it's pretty troubling having cosine x in the exponent and then plus one, so that's strange. Um, also, you know, we've got a lot of cosines. I was thinking for this tangent right here, if I just rewrite this, I can kind of create another cosine. So I can write tangent, we'll just write this as sine x over cosine x. Because then we have a cosine here, 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 here. And so I think it's good to just do a u substitution to clean it up and see what's happening. So first we'll just set u equal to cosine x. Then du is gonna be just minus sine x dx. Well then I can create this du just by multiplying in a sine right here and matching it with the dx. I don't wanna change it, so let's multiply a minus in front. And so then we'll go ahead and substitute minus in front. This is gonna become just u to the u plus one now. Again, this is gonna be part of the du, but the cosine here in the denominator, I can put this down here, it's just u. And then this other part's gonna become one plus natural log of u. But I can take this u and divide it into this u to the u plus one. That's just gonna be, think of it like a one exponent on that. So when you divide that in there, I can get rid of this and just take one of these away. And now this is starting to look pretty familiar because I've come across a lot of problems like where we've had x to the x. And then the question always becomes, I always forget, but it's like, what is the derivative of this thing gonna be? And is that gonna give us our simplification? So let's do this as another substitution. Let's say, let's set this equal to t. And so if we do our substitution t equal to u to the u, what I want is, I don't really want the base to be u and the exponent to be u. I can use the trick to write u as e ln u. So we can write this as e to the u ln u as our t value. And then if I take a derivative down here, first we get back all this. So we have e u ln u. Then we need chain rule on it. So derivative of u is just like one times ln u. And then for the second part, we bring over the u. Derivative of ln u is one over u. Then let's just clean this up a little bit. This right here is equal to t, which is also equal to u to the u. I can just put it back this way and we can write this as u to the u. And then this u times one over u, that's just a one. Let's just reorder this. So we can write this as one plus ln u du. And then what do we notice? All this stuff right here, this is actually gonna be the same as our dt value. So going ahead with this really quick, we have our minus sign in front. Everything is just dt or like one dt. Integral of this, we're gonna just get minus t. I can back substitute, but we're gonna be back substituting twice because we have t in terms of u and we wanna get back to x. So what I can do here is combine it, get it all in terms of x. We plug cosine x back in here. Sorry, I messed that up, but our t value is gonna become u to the u is gonna be cosine x to the cosine x. So then back substitute with this. For my final solution, we just get minus cosine x to the cosine x plus c, and that's it. And then one note on this, when we've got two substitutions, you can combine them into one. So instead of doing our u substitution, you could have just went right to like a substitution for this. Sometimes doing two substitutions makes it a little easier to see, kind of more intuitive, but you can also combine them if you're trying to save some time. Okay, there you go. Good one from MIT 2017. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.